How's it going, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Last time, we ran with the mushrooms, and we tracked some toys. There we go, now you can see that we were in toy tracks. And I gotta be honest, it has been like two weeks since I recorded a Kirby's Epic Yarn video, so I might be a little rusty in this one, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, without any further ado, let's head on in to the next level, Sweets Park. Now, if I remember correctly, this one is actually a little difficult, but not hopefully too difficult, because I wouldn't want to be recording this level for like 20 minutes and then have this be the only thing that we do. Anyway, let's use our strength to uncover that, allowing us to actually go down here. Thank you, uncover the cake. Aw, we get some berries, grapes, that's pretty clever. Alright, uh, okay. Shooter Waddle Dee, come here. Arrow Waddle Dee, or however, whatever name you would prefer to use for the Waddle Dee. Let's go ahead and take your arrow. Let's actually go ahead and take you out. Sorry, no pacifist run this time. Uh, let's go up here. I don't think there's anything down here, but there is something to warn you about that this is kind of a little practice area here, because a little bit later on in this level, we're gonna experience these donut platforms that are rotating, and there won't be any way for us to recover, because there's gonna be nothing below us, so... Get your practice in now if you're not comfortable, because we are going to need it. Either it's this level or it's a level later on, I can't exactly remember. I think it's this one, though. Anyway, we have some flan down here that we can ground pound to allow us to, you know, access certain things, including down here. Hopefully I get down here in time. Please don't crush me. Okay, the flan thankfully doesn't crush you, because remember, this is like one of the easier Kirby games, and you can't really die, thanks to Angie the Angel, most importantly. Uh, however, it's a little annoying when you get shoved to the side. Case in point, you just saw it with the falling blocks there when you take one out. It's just a little annoying being pushed over, and it's not really fun. All right, let's see. Uh, let's just use these flan as platforms because that's actually what we need to do. All right, let's go ahead and continue making our way over here. Perfect. Use the flan for good, not evil. All right, let's get up here real quick. I was gonna say, let's get up there real quick, and I actually did, so I don't really want to contradict myself, but I kind of actually do every time I speak. This flan is gonna shove me out of the way. Oh, it shoved me the other way, actually, which honestly isn't that bad, because it allows me to go up here. Come on. There we go. Use the flan for platforming. There we go. Get up there. Nice. Okay. Get up here with this one. Excellent. And we're going to want to ride the one up top here, and then go all the way over this way to grab our very first treasure, the Donut Pillow. This delicious-looking cushion would be at home in a cafe. Yes, I think it would be, actually, which quite clever. All right, ooh, let's not fall down there. Thank you, Flan, for not crushing me or blocking my way. I say that as the Flan crushes my pathway. All right, let's avoid that. That's a little annoying, that little, like, donut-themed thing that would block you the wall. Not really great. All right, let's go up here. Ah, yeah, here we go. This is where the uh, donuts with no floors below us starts coming into play because, uh, well, first are these rotating donuts, which are quite nice, you know, and of course, because this is the extra epic version of Epic Yarn with our Ravel abilities here uh, in the middle of this specific open donut. But we don't need the Ravel abilities. Again, though, I will show them off later, just not right now. All right, this fortunately for us, does have an opening in it, or rather a floor in it, that allows us to uh, live and not have Angie come take any of our beads, which is greatly appreciated. She probably, yeah, she probably go up here and then use the opening to platform that way instead of trying to do it the opposite way. All right, here we go. There we go. Nice. And I love how there's another Ravel ability in the middle of this one, too. It's actually quite funny. All right. 
use this here. Thought there was gonna be something up above, but no, not really. All right, here we go. This is where it gets. This is where the this is where the party begins. Okay. Uh, I think there is a treasure too that I need to watch out for. It's just watching, actually watching out for the treasure is the uh, key part because I think you can actually see it from below where the opening is going to be where. The uh, specific thing that I'm looking for is... Alright, let's just be very, very careful. Very careful. I want to use that Parasol Waddle D to get up there and grab that Crystal Star. Come on, Waddle D. Get up there. Come on. There we go. Alright, and some extras too. Let's not forget the rest of them. Alright, make our way over here. Perfect. Okay. Um... I think we're safe. I don't think I want to risk those... Donuts down there. No, thank you. Uh, is there anything over this way? Yes, there is actually. Okay. Oh, here's the opening. Alright, this is what I'm looking for. Okay. Make our way over here. Now I need to be very, very careful. Because I do not want to have to restart this or to just lose any of my uh, beads in general. Because I do have the gold rank. There we go, we got the OSD to Grassland, which is weird considering we're very far from Grassland right now, but whatever. Uh, I don't know if I've missed the uh, other treasure. I don't think so. I don't think I have. Maybe I did. Uh, uh, Crystal Star down there, do I want to go for that? I think I'm going to play it safe. However, if the ending is right here, which I'm very fearful that it is, then... Yeah, I did miss a treasure. Where could I have missed it? I don't think it's right down here with this stuff, is it? No, it looks like there's no room for it. So I missed it somewhere else. Uh, let's see. I'll go down here just to grab this, but... Yeah, it's not looking like there's... It's not looking like there's anything for me here. Oh my god. I almost just lost that completely. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Go through this. Uh, let's see. Where is that actual other treasure? Where could I have missed it? Aha! There's something all the way up in this area. Just a patch bell. Well, never mind. I thought that was going to be a treasure. Should have known because it wasn't a treasure chest, but I can always be hopeful, can't I? It just dawned on me that I never actually went up this ladder and I just YOLO'd it all the way to the side. And it makes sense now that I don't have the other treasure because it's right in this area. Okay, let's un... Let's unzip the uh, zipper here, or unstring the zipper, or however you would want to describe that. And let's go ahead and teleport all the way to the cloud. Thank you for spitting me out. And let's transform into the drill. Okay. Uh, so, how do I want to play this? Oh, I think I know. Right? I think I need to... I need to be able to staircase up. So, there's that. And then, okay, this isn't so bad, All right? I don't really care about, um, I don't really care about these gems here because I already do have the gold rank, so I think I'm just gonna make my way over to the spool here that'll, you know, unravel me and not have me have an ability. Thank you, don't need the driller. And I should by going through my little tunnel system and using each of these staircases, I should, keyword should, be able to grab that treasure and unless I screw something up, nope, there we go. All right, grab the treasure, a dessert dresser. This, dress, uh, this dresser will make you reach for a spoon and your elastic waistband pants. Well, joke's on you, game. I'm already wearing elastic waistband pants. Ah, the luxuries of recording. At least I'm actually wearing pants when recording. I know a lot of people actually don't wear pants when they're recording, and bravo to the people that are brave enough to say they aren't wearing pants when recording. I'm just not that person. Also, I should probably not be a daredevil, and I should 
take it slowly all the way to the ending here. Unfortunately, didn't get the five star bell. And the joke is not on me because it did not land on the five star bell. I was very, very concerned for a moment. There's our beads, there's our streak, and of course, we grabbed all three treasures. And we found the candy patch. And now we have access to a fan favorite level. I wouldn't say this is one of my favorites personally, but I can I can see why people like this level. Say hello to Melody Town. Melody Town is a pretty interesting level. Again, a lot of people consider it to be a favor of theirs. I I'm kind of neutral to it, but anyway, Melody Town, you get to ground pound, run over, and just basically play instruments. It's really cool. It's basically DDD's Drum Dash from Triple Deluxe, or the actual Drum Dash Deluxe, before those even existed, so it's actually really cool. All right, let's sneak our way into this musical sheet line, and we will be able to actually become a music note and collect music notes, and if you collect every single one, you get a crystal star for each and every complete line you make, which is really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab all these. Very nice. And of course, the enemies themselves also bounce on these, which is super cool. Okay. Ooh, I, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, never mind. You're good. I was gonna say, I'm, I'm sorry, Waddle Dee, that I interrupted you bouncing on the, uh, on the, uh, on the drum there, but, or, uh, not drum, what the, what is that instrument, what's the instrument called, the, I, actually it is a drum, ain't it, or whatever, anyway, we got our first treasure, the toy piano, this piano may look like a toy, but it really has a solid tone, uh, I get it, alright, let's make sure we can actually go over this way and not fall into the pit trying to jump up here, there we go, very nice, Alright, uh, maybe it's- no, that's not a snare drum, is it? I don't really know music all too well. I mean, when I was in, a uh, middle school, I- and for the first year of high school, uh, I was in chorus, but I was never in band. I wasn't really a band guy, so band geeks out there, if I got that wrong, I apologize, but, uh, don't harass me, please. Although, I should mention, in middle school, my chorus class was right next door to the band class, which was a little weird, but, you know, it, it's whatever. Anyway, on the harps here, you actually get musical notes for swinging around, which is kind of cool. Alright, let's go ahead and throw you away. Let's go ahead and unwrap that for the three-star patch. Very, very nice. Collect these musical notes. Aw, oh, the melody on the harp is so, so beautiful. Uh, let's go up here. I think... Uh, oh, wait, do I not want to go there yet? I think going up is to the next area, so I'm going to quickly do this instead. Okay, oh, there is a treasure there, don't mind if I do. The clef tree. This tree plays a melody when you shake it. Just try not to overdo it, however. I remember clef notes. God, it, it's kind of all coming back to me, like, all the terminology for at least chorus, but... Clef notes are in everything, it's not just chorus, it's in band too. But, you know, all the memories of my chorus class are, you know, coming back to me. It's really, really awesome to think about, and I'm glad I saved myself there, because, oh boy, that would have been very embarrassing if I fell into the pit. Alright, let's go ahead, and inside of this trumpet, right? I don't think it's, I think it's a trumpet, tuba, whatever, there's, all the instruments are almost the same anyway. They're not really. <laughs> Band people will be so upset at me. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no, I missed the note. Oh, that's unfortunate. 
Apparently, also, it's very unfortunate because I only have a bronze rank right now, and I would, I would, you know, like to get a gold rank. Uh, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little unfortunate I just did that. Anyway, uh, let's see. Let's go over here, grab all of these notes. I don't even know what I was thinking when I stopped myself mid-sentence. I kind of just, I kind of just gave up there. Uh, okay, that was a little bad, but I don't think those notes disappear. I think we're good. I think I'm good. I can collect those. I... Again, I don't think they disappear. Maybe they do. No? Okay. Well, I won't find out if they do anyway. Let's go up here. We have even more. My god, there's so many. Okay. Uh, does anything actually happen here? No? It was just some extra notes? Okay. I thought there was maybe going to be a secret unlocked, but no, guess not. Alright, through here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and pull that. Because I would like the extra musical notes. Okay. Let's be careful. Got a drum right here. Okay, so that bounces up. Oh, I, re I remember this as I fall into the pit and lose pretty much all of my stuff. Alright, that's great. Uh, I remember this. We need to... We can grab this from right here, right? I don't need to do anything weird. Okay, hang on. No, we can go down here. There we go. I was gonna say, grab that. That's gonna retract. Okay, go up. Please, go up here, thank you. To grab the final treasure, the music to Melody Town. And now we can float down here with our parachute form. Hey, there's the five star patch. Nice to see that. Okay, let's be careful. All right? There we go. I'm actually gonna grab this note because I need all of the help I can get with getting the gold rank. Or at least the silver rank. I'd prefer gold, but at this point I will take silver. Okay. Bounce on these. Get that real quick, and then grab that five star patch. Take out that block. There we go. Grab that real quick. Throw that away just so I have some headroom. Alright, go on the harp, very nice. Bounce on this, oh, that was close. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, the harp melody never gets sold. Apparently I just missed one, but that's alright. I was heading down anyway. Okay. Oh, we're back to the snare drum. This is the snare drum, I think, not the, not this one. I don't know. Again, I was a chorus guy, not a uh, not a band guy. All right, let's sneak our way through here again, getting all the little extras, which, again, very very helpful. Now this one I think is the hardest to collect these notes in. Yeah, that that that's no chance. Oh, but I want some notes just to help me with my. God, that's awful. Uh, I think I'm right at the end, which sucks. Yeah, I'm right at the end. Uh. To maybe get silver, I need at least three star. Oh boy. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try for the five. I'm gonna try for the five and hope I get it. I think I got it. Either way, I'm getting something. Okay, did get the five star. Very nice. And it did give me silver, so I think three star wouldn't have given me silver, so thankfully that five star came through. All the beads in the world, but not enough to get a gold. The streak was 179, and of course, got all of the treasures, which in the end, is what matters most. Plus, we did get the air pump patch. And with that, we now have access to the boss of Treatland, known as Squashini, or I guess more so a transition to Hotland. I went a little too far with my car.
Next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, not only will we be taking on Squashini, but it is time to play Hide and Seek with Zeke once again, and then probably a DDD Go 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 stage because I think that unlocks after defeating Squashini. So, until next time, catch you later.